it's, I feel like it's been a long time. It's been a while. Yeah. You, by the way, you smell fantastic as well. As Thank you. Looking fantastic. Well, I welcome. make it myself. Yeah, do you really? Yeah, because I get a headache from store-bought perfumes, so I just make it with essential oils. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's fantastic, it's like cooking, whatever it is. Right? Yeah, I guess yeah. so. By the way, speaking of cooking, St. Patrick's Day is today. Mm -hmm. Irish cuisine, not really that advanced. <laughs> what would you... <laughs> I, I, I could... I'm Irish. I can say that we boil everything. Okay, all right. I'm we boil it. What is it? it? Yeah, yeah, eggs, oatmeal, whatever. Boil it. Yeah, it's like what? Yes. Corned beef. Yes. Have you tried boiling it? Yeah, it's like exactly. cab, cab. We just boil it. What, but what, what would you say? What, what should people eat on St. Patty's Day? I mean, I'm not familiar, so familiar with Irish food, believe it or not. But I think something green, right? So have chlorophyll, which is really good for your gut. <laughs> like, no, it's really good. Chlorophyll? Yes, what are you talking like about? Have a green juice. Have a green juice. Oh. Maybe, you know, maybe put some whiskey in it because it's St. Patrick's Day. Now, right, now we're talking right now. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking Let's about. Now we're... Eat your greens. Yeah. Eat your greens. I, I was reading a, a little bit about you uh, uh, in growing up uh, in New York. Uh, one of the things that you like, because I know I have your cookbooks. I watch you all the time on all your cooking stuff besides Top Chef. Uh, and I found out that one of the things that was a treat for you growing up was to go to the hot dog cart. Yes, but I didn't eat meat then. So, I mean, yeah. I, yes, we would, we would actually, I grew up in New York City, and so my mom and I were vegetarian, but we'd always salivate watching all these people get hot dogs. So we had the hot dog. We asked the hot dog guy for the hot dog without the hot dog, but all the fixing. So like sauerkraut, onions, mustard, relish, ketchup, everything. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. I mean, that's what makes it taste good. I mean, have you ever had... A New York hot dog boiled in that New York water. Boiled? Yes. You say boiled? Oh, yes. Yeah, bingo! Yes, 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 yes. I love it! Yes, exactly. I actually ordered one oh, of the... Oh, shoot. I ordered a Padma. Uh, this is a hot dog with everything with nothing. Everything and nothing so all at once. So it's everything with nothing at once. You go, everything with no hot dog. All right, we... Uh, can am I, I supposed to taste wanna... this? Yeah, well, do you want to? Yes, I do. You okay, made good. it for me. All right, so do you want to make it more fun? Sure. Okay, should we have an eating contest and see who can eat it faster? No. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Come on! You're out of your mind. No, because I'm telling you, you're gonna, I'm just, Come I'm on. giving you the, I will throw up all over the okay, place. All right, we don't I don't that. know if I will like this. I don't think I'm going to enjoy this. You've had everything on here before. I know you have. It just doesn't seem, it feels like it's missing something. All right. Ready? All right, cheers. One, cheers. It's good. It's good. And the hot sauce, the red onions. It's good. Stop playing music, please. Because they just want me to just eat it fast. Who can eat it fast? I'm not doing it. No, I don't want to do it. Um, oh, come on. But I feel like it's the end of the hot dog when the hot dog falls out of the bun. And you have one bite left, but you've already paid $1.50 for the hot dog. It's so you really might as well good. finish the and end. Also, look at your bite. Your bite is small. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you doing? You come out here swinging like that? Sorry, my sorry. bite is small? No, I don't want to eat this. I really don't like this. I think this is, uh, uh, this is not, this is not for me. Okay, fine. You want me to take another bite? Yeah. 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 I'll do anything for you. Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You have the condiment sweats. Not the meat sweats, but the condiment sweats. looking for any, like, spit bucket or anything. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares. No, I love you. Um, <laughs> oh, this is good. This is great. I'll let you have all of it. No, I'm going to save it, I'm save it for you after the show. <laughs> now, now I eat meat, obviously, but... You do, yeah. Everything, you know, with Top Chef, but... Yeah. I'm still pretty plant-based. Can, uh, can you answer... Uh, there's some food debates that are online, I thought that you'd be fun sure. answering these and just settling it once and for all. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich or a hot dog? I mean, it's a poor excuse for a sandwich, but it's technically a sandwich. Anything between bread. This is... The crowd turned on you. <laughs> Wait, you I mean, you... in July, when you're grilling the hot dog, it's good, but not no, when definitely... you're boiling it. Wait, what are you talking about? A hot dog is good, but I mean, that's not the question, is a hot dog good? It is, the answer is yes, yes, a hot dog is yes, good. Yes, it's but... technically a sandwich. What? Anything, because the Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich. And, and how far do you want me to go with this? The Earl of Sandwich. <laughs> it's true. Uh, all right. All right, ready? Settle this debate. Okay. Is there a food that's not made better with chocolate or ranch? I would say... 
Uh, I mean, not necessarily, are. right? I mean, it's. Have you ever had a chocolate covered something that was gross? Oh, hell yes, I have. And it was the worst thing I've ever eaten on Top Chef. It Wait, was which one? Ty, Elon Hall. Hall. Love Elon. Um, so do I. But uh, he really tested me there. It was in Santa Barbara. It was. A, I remember, I remember, you remember everything. the location. I remember what I was wearing. <laughs> it was this beautiful chocolate ganache that he did really well. And I bit into it and I thought it was a piece of fruit or something because it kind of felt like that or a raisin. It was a piece of liver. So chocolate covered liver, not good. It would have been better with ranch. Oh my sure. God. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Uh, if, are you cooking if you don't use heat? <gasps> yes, you are. You can marinate things and they will cook. Like if you leave fish, that's a ceviche. Ceviche. Yeah, I mean, we had this debate on my first season, the second season finale, between Ilan again and Sam. And Sam uh, marinated something and Tom was like, but he didn't cook anything. And I'm like, yes, he did. He just didn't use heat. Ah, all right, so you are cooking. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, could, could a bowl of cereal be considered a soup? I don't know where oh, we're getting these. Your quest love. I don't know where you, you like it. He loves cereal. Come on. I do. What's your, what's your cereal? I like Quisp. Do you know Quisp? They don't make Quisp. <laughs> they got Quisp for my birthday. They don't make Quisps. They still make it. Where did you get the last box of Quisp? Uh, they, for my birthday, people sent me Quisp. I went to his birthday and he literally had 20 boxes of cereal. Yeah, he and does like cereal. Milk. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, did you know there were frosted flakes that were strawberry or straw? Yeah. No. They're great. Oh, yeah. He knows all that stuff. He knows yeah. all that Oh, that's good. Yeah. But no, it can't be considered a soup. It's a cereal. Yeah. It's, maybe it's a dessert more than a soup. <laughs> well, you say it. Sure, of course, Bob. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we talk about Top Chef, okay? Yes, please. Season 20. Mm -hmm. uh, can you believe it's season 20? No, I can't. When I took the job um, teen years ago... We've known each other for 20 years. We have. Isn't that we wild? Have. You look the same. You too, too. You look younger and better. <laughs> Thank you. It's all that food I eat. <laughs> I mean, it's been a really wild ride. I, I just took the job because I thought it'd be a little push for my cookbook, which was coming out the year of that. So you didn't think season. you'd go, like, past two no, seasons? No, it was a little cable show. I mean, I didn't do it first season, so I did get to see it, and I thought it was a really cool show. Yeah. And um, so I liked it. I just could, I, you know, I was talking to them about the first season in development. Then I went off to shoot a movie uh, with Sean Bean, actually, and they didn't want to wait, so they did it with somebody else. And then it, it was nice, you know, it was a good show. And then they asked me second season, are you free now? And I said, yes, and I've been with this show ever since. Wowzers, that's yeah. awesome. But you're the face. I, I, I couldn't imagine it without you. Thank you. You're so good. Uh, you. Talk to me about this season. What, what is this now? This very... Interesting, because now it's, oh my it's God, become global like, now, Top Yeah, show. this is like the mega season. It's hard to top yourself. It's like an old marriage. When you've been on TV so long, yeah. you got to keep it fresh, keep yeah, it, you know, of course. exciting. So this season, it's really international. We always try to keep it d diverse, but we have... Uh, top Chef is in 174 territories, so, like, I'm dubbed in all kinds of languages, which is really funny to watch. But there are 29 countries where they have their own franchise, so we took winners and uh, finalists from... 11 of those. So we have like Brazil, Thailand, Mexico, Italy, yeah. the Middle East, you know, all these different top chefs. All the best. Yeah. And so it's the best of the best of the world. They've already been on Top Chef. They've already won or they've already made it to the finale. Wow. So you're watching the best. I will say it's like also the about, Olympics. It's uh, like Top Chef Olympics. Top Chef is one of those shows too where the winners actually go on to become giant stars. They, yeah. like, they have restaurants, they have franchises. They're like, Giants now in the culinary world. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, you can look at any show you want, you know, American Idol, any show, any reality competition show, and no show uh, produces genuine captains of their industry. And they, I think the show is self selecting, you know, because it's so hard to do. Yeah. And you've got to be insane to want to do it. I would never compete on Top Chef. Really? But yeah, it's even it's harder tricky. than it looks it's on difficult. TV. Yeah. I mean, you've been on the show, well, you was... weren't in the kitchen, but. Um, you were eating with us. It's no, was, really, yeah, they it's, left me outside yeah, in the parking like, lot. Yeah, they go, you just stay here. We'll bring the food to you, Jimmy. You stay in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's tough. It's, it was, I mean, it's great. You know, Carla was my uh, was the winner of mine. Oh really? And, and look, look how well she's done. She's Carla the best. Hall. We I love mean, you, Carla. The Voltage Brothers, uh, Richard Elon. Blaze, Richard Blaze Izzard, is great. Kristen Kish. I yeah, keep, keep naming people that we all know now. I want to show a clip. Here's Padma Lakshmi and Top Chef World All Stars. Take a look at this. Hello, chefs. Welcome to season 20 of Top Chef. All right. Since Top Chef premiered in 2006, 
there have been 29 international versions with over 100 winners from around the globe. You represent some of the best of the best. I recognize Samuel because I always watch Top Chef France and I know he's a great chef. This competition is going to be fire. Ah, uh, yeah. Padma Lakshmi, our buzz Top Chef World All-Stars, airs Thursdays at 9 p.m. on Bravo. We're doing something brand new with Padma after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.